I'm really lucky I have great horses and especially with Bokai and Katanji, I know I can go anywhere and be pretty competitive and they've been great these indoor shows so coming here I just wanted to keep that going and finish the year on a good note. They finish here and then they go to Florida on Sunday and they get a very well-deserved break before the winter starts. Not really. I'll go up to the farm in Vermont and I'll school once or twice inside and you know they're seasoned at this. They really don't care where they go so it's more just for me to get the feel of inside again when we've been jumping on big outdoor rings and big fields. Oh boy, I think I started riding when I was five and I think I made the transition to jumpers maybe like 13, 14, but competitively at this level the past four years or so. Just from my mindset and my riding, I think I've gotten a lot more comfortable and I guess used to get very intimidated competing against these riders and I still feel that, but I feel more honored than anything to be able to compete against some of my idols and people that I look up to and for sure over the year as the courses have become a little bit lighter and you know horse level has really increased and everyone has that special horse so the courses definitely are more careful they're a bit bigger the material is lighter but you know I've taken it on with the open arms I'm <laughs> ready to keep trying to evolve with the sport and I've got really great horses so I know that they're ready for whatever comes our way. You know, the sport definitely is very different compared to, you know, 10 years ago, decades ago. But I honestly, I respect George Morris a great deal. I've ridden with him a few times in clinics, and how can you not? He's a legend in the sport itself. But I think, at least for me, I like to think that maybe I'm not the bravest person, but I'm not one who's going to back away from a challenge. And I think to go fast at this height of jumps and to try and win, it takes a little bit, it takes a level of courage that you kind of have to find. And, you know, in that regard, I think that the Americans are second to none, you know, we're, we're a very competitive group. <laughs> You know, the transition from the equitation to the big level, it's different for sure, but you deal with the same amount of pressure. That It's a little bit of a different situation, but I found that I was able to cope with the pressure when I was a junior doing pre states and the equitation, that it really helped me do the bigger level. And kind of now, I'm, yeah, like you said, I'm not young, but I'm not old, and I get to compete against so many riders that I look up to, and I'm excited to be doing so, and always see it as a chance to learn from everyone else, because, you know, you gotta take advantage of being able to see BZ or McLean, Kent, Laura Kraut show and to compete against them. And, you know, if they beat you one day, you have to remember they've done this a little bit longer, but at the same time, it gives a really good example of something to work towards. Yeah, it's great seeing somebody from my age group go on and do amazing things, and, you know, that's ex it's, I think it's encouraging for other riders. For sure it is for me that, you know, we have a place in the sport, and American show jumping has always been very strong, and it was absolutely amazing that she had the opportunity and went out and performed and <laughs> represented the younger generation as she did.